Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. So I was scrolling through Instagram and saw some watches that had diamonds. What was interesting is the first post I saw was actually just a very simple watch with very elegantly done diamonds. And then the next one I saw, you know, an AP Royal Oak and a Patek Philippe Nautilus that had diamonds on the dial, on the case itself, and also the bracelet. So it was just a, just a, a bunch of diamonds on the watch. So I thought I would discuss um, with you today what I, my opinions are um, on diamonds and and watches I think this is a very divisive topic so we probably have some very interesting conversations about it so that's going to be our topic today um, if you are new to the channel welcome to life on the wrist I hope um, you're uh, we basically create videos about watches so if you are interested in those types of um, those videos be sure to check out our other videos you'll see the topics that we have discussed and be sure to hit that subscribe button um, to join the life on the wrist family if you don't know much about life on the wrist we are a vintage watch store and blog and um, we, we basically create these videos um, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and while you're by that subscribe button be sure to hit the uh, thumbs up video a uh, thumbs up um, button it really does help us out giving us a thumbs up obviously it helps us with the YouTube algorithm because it helps push our videos to, to individuals who are interested in the types of topics that we are discussing today in these videos so be sure to hit that sub thumbs up it really does help us out um, so being on Instagram, you know, you see a lot of different types of watches. Obviously, people on Instagram are there to kind of explore their tastes and share their tastes with people um, and kind of, you know, just in, enjoy um, sharing what, what they like and what they don't like. So um, just to, I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video. Um, I want to say this, um, and I said it previously, this is obviously a very opinionated topic, which means the thoughts that I'm going to be bringing up today in this video are my opinion. Um, it is not a sweeping statement that um, di watches should not have diamonds or watches should always have diamonds. That's not the point of this video. It's the point of it is to give my opinion. If you do have a different opinion, that's totally fine. Um, I'm not going to be offended by that. Um, but what I would love is if you wouldn't mind telling me about your opinion in the comment section below, because that will foster a very interesting conversation that we can have and debate. And I think that that's a better way of going about this. So this is my opinion. This is not a, a blanket sweeping statement about diamonds and watches. So just remember that while watching this video. So obviously a lot of the times you'll see watches that have um, diamonds on the dial and the case and also on the bracelet. Um, and um, just to kind of get it out there, uh, I'm just not a huge fan of diamonds and watches. It's just not really my taste. Um, I'm a little bit more of an understated person. I'm not someone who really wants people to be looking at my wrist all the time, uh, even though I do it very, very often and it's um, not a very good thing to do that. So um, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of a lot of diamonds and watches. I think it's just a little bit too much and too uh, in your face and that's not really exactly what I would like. If I was to have diamonds on my watch, I would ha have very simple diamonds. I wouldn't go for things like baguette diamonds for hour markers. I'd probably go just for a round stone um, very simple, simply laid on the on the dial for the hour markers, and probably call it quits at that point. <laughs> um, I think that's that fits my the way my aesthetics a little bit more. I'm not someone who who wants that um, in, in my on my wrists uh, to have a lot of diamonds. Um, and I think it kind of comes down to this really interesting um, topic. Is I think it might be kind of the mo the motivation that you have about watches it kind of lends itself to um, understanding where in that divide you would be for diamonds, right? So um, for me, I'm a little bit more interested in uh, the watchmaking behind the watches, the history of the brands, the history of those specific watches. Um, so my main focus is actually things like the movement. I think this memo sale is a perfect example of this. Um, this is a little bit, uh, uh, it's a louder watch, it's blue, it's a weird shape, um, not something you see every day. Um, so, um, but but I, I was really interested in the yacht timing complication. I like the way in which the Mercer laid out their dial, and I think that's a perfect example of my motivation behind being into watches is a little bit more about the watchmaking. I think oftentimes people who have a lot of diamonds on their watches, their motivations are a little bit more about finding something to wear on their wrist that's a jewelry piece. Um, and diamonds is obviously a perfect way to get a jewel, uh, have a, a piece of jewelry on your wrist. Um, so they kind of combined watches because they were interested in them and their love for jewelry and created, um, you know, obviously a watch with a lot of diamonds on them. So again, that's probably a sweeping statement and I'm sure some people may have motivations that are a little bit different um, and, and um, 
that's totally fine. I didn't mean to generalize there and I probably didn't. And um, if I did, that's fine. Um, you know, it's just the, the way I'm gonna make this video. <laughs> um, so I, I, I think a perfect example of the way in which I would want um, a watch to look with diamonds on the dial is in my, in the latest um, watches I found on the Delta Lounge, there's actually a lady that I saw wearing a ladies day just with um, a black dial, so it was a very simple watch, but the hour markers were diamonds, and it's not it, that the diamonds were not the first thing that I actually noticed about the watch. Um, I think it was very, very elegantly done. I'm pretty sure this was a Rolex manufacturer uh, dial, so it wasn't an aftermarket or, or um, another company who, who created a dial. Um, the, the dial was obviously black, so it was very understated. The diamonds themselves were round and were set for the hour markers. And it wasn't the first thing that I saw. Um, the first thing that I saw was obviously, um, you know, a watch. <laughs> and then I kind of d dove a little bit deeper. I think that's a nice way of setting diamonds on the dial because it's um, not very loud. It's not the first thing that I noticed. It adds just a little bit of a shimmer to it, but they still just look like hour markers at the end of the day. So that's kind of a good example of the way in which I would want it. And a lot of the times those un more understated watches are um, from the dials are created by the manufacturer themselves. Um, they're not by a second, a second part, a third party, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but um, a lot of the times they, you know, they use a little bit more, um, a little bit more in your face design. So anyway, um, the, what I, what I think is interesting though, is if I had a day just with diamonds on the dial and a, a day just without diamonds on the dial, I'd probably choose the one without diamonds just because I'm not, I'm, it's not, Diamonds are not the first thing that I look for in a watch, right? Um, so I'd probably choose the one without it. But if I had to have diamonds on my watch, that's the type of layout that I would probably have. Um, so that's the way in which I would set them. What I do think is interesting is, you know, obviously it's a very divisive topic. Rolex has also created things like the Rolex, um, uh, I believe it was a yacht timer um, with with ha the Haribo um, pattern on it. They basically took different colored sapphires and put it around the bezel of a watch. Um, some people loved it, some people hated it. Um, actually, I thought it was actually very, the, the way in which it was laid out was very kind of understated, but obviously the bright colors makes it a little bit louder. Um, I kind of like the watch, but um, that's maybe where my, my, uh, my opinion kind of clashes with, with the other sides. And I think, you know, there's, there's polar opposites, right? So there's completely diamond out watch and there's like no diamonds at all. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. I can, I can respect some, some diamonds on the watch. Um, so probably we'll probably be on the polar opposites of this, but somewhere in between is probably where, where I land on this. I also never really understood why the individual would get diamonds on the bracelet itself because you know, I've worn watches and seen people wear watches where the bracelet and the clasp were all scuffed up. And that's because they're sitting on chairs and, and you know, knocking it against, you know, I don't know, uh, doorknobs and things like that. And it gets really scuffed up. So I feel like if you had diamonds on the, on the bracelet itself, I feel like those would also get really, really scuffed up. Um, so it kind of would be a waste of money at that point. But who knows, you know, if that's their taste, then I'm totally fine with them having it. Just not, I wouldn't really concern myself with it. So I'm not a huge fan of diamonds on the, uh, on the bracelet for sure. Uh, but like I said, on the dial, very, very understated. I think that, that that's a home run when it comes to diamonds with watches. Um, but I do think that whole kind of theme of, I want a piece of jewelry, but I'm also into watches, and that's why I've created this you know, watch with a lot of diamonds on them. I think that's one of the main motivations behind people who like that. Um, so I think it's just, we have differing interests, and it's fine to have differing interests. And um, either way, um, you, can, you can have some very cool watches that, that, that um, that look that look nice if you're understated or or not but for me i just wouldn't have diamonds on my on my watch um so thank you guys for watching if you've made it this far and you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button it really would help us grow this channel we've some, seen some amazing amazing growth so if you like these types of videos and you've checked out some of the other ones be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell icon we our cadence for uploading videos is monday wednesday friday of every week um, but you'll get notified if you hit the bell icon of when we do act, when the videos actually go live. It also give you what the topic is. So if you are interested in that specific topic, you can click straight into the video and enjoy it um, at your leisure. Um, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out with the YouTube algorithm. We've seen some amazing growth, and I think that's exactly why. So be sure to smash that like button like you have previously. 
on this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below about diamonds and watches. I I'm here for an interesting discussion, so let me know in the comment section below. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time.